let's go into a little bit of a detail about um, the, that first reunion movie, 1978, Whatever Happened to Dobie Gillis. So what was the plot of that? Well, it had originally had a plot, which I don't remember what the real plot was anymore, because it was also going to employ Zelda driving a tank down the street. That's the only thing I remember about it, uh, because it was zany, it was crazy. Max had written it. Uh, all the characters were themselves. We were talking really fast over each other, and they fired Max because they said, nobody's gonna believe this, this is too crazy. Mm. And everybody said, no, 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 this was like what our show was like. When you do a reunion movie, you're supposed to kind of give fans what they're looking for and have it be like your show. And they said, no, it's just too crazy. So they rewrote the script, had nothing really to do with our show. Uh, Dobie and Zelda were married, they had a kid, and it just was like doing something, but I mean, I was already in. You know, I had signed to do the show, and when they change the script, you, you don't have any choice. In 1988, then, there was another reunion. Right, every 10 years, whether <laughs> we needed one or not, we had a reunion. That one was called Bring Me the Head of Dobie Gillis. Right, and that was the one where they wanted Tuesday to do the movie, but she wouldn't do it. Do you know why? Mm, I heard it was money, but I actually don't know the reason. You know, sometimes when producers couldn't get somebody, they would say, well, they asked too much money, but it might have been something else. It might have been that the part was too small, etc. cetera. Um, they did recast Connie Stevens, mm -hmm. Connie Stevens, who was wonderful. I mean, Connie Stevens, very talented. Uh, but of course, she didn't know anything about Thalia Manager or Thalia Manager's character. I mean, Tuesday's character, because Max wrote her, was very, um, what shall I say, rapacious. She really just wanted money. She wanted gold. She wanted money. We were all over the top in terms of the kind of characters we were. And um, that was an element of the character, but then they rewrote it, so it just wasn't there anymore. The same thing happened. They brought Max on to do the movie in 88, and then they fired him because it was too crazy. What was the plot line for, for that movie? I don't remember because it had nothing to do with Dobie Gillis. <laughs> we were married, our kid was big, you know. Uh, I think we were even running the grocery store that Dobie's uh, parents used to run. It was very unimaginative. I thought it was wonderful that Dobie and Zelda were married. I could see where it kind of didn't fit with our show because the whole point of the show was the chase and the refusal, the tension I guess you can't call it tension, but the, the, the conflict between them because she wanted him and he wanted anybody but her. Um, and so, but it was inevitable. We knew it was inevitable from the first show. I told him it was inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> Were those movies well received, do you know? I don't think so. I think they came and went. Um, mostly because if you knew the show, you didn't like it because it was nothing like the show. And if you didn't know the show, it was mediocre. It was just mediocre.